Hey everyone, today I have a collector's item. This is specifically targeted to Harry Potter fans and really anybody in general who's interested in the filmmaking process of that big franchise. So I had bought mine used at a steal of around $20 online. The retail price of this is about $75. Now I want to make a note that this is the 2011 edition. There's actually a recent update dated in 2018 where the author just basically made an overhaul of the cover design and added basically eight pages exactly to the end of the book. And all that those pages show as I'm showing you right here on the screen are just about the theme parks in the UK and also the Fantastic Beasts films. Just a quick overview about those. I had gone to my local Barnes & Noble store just to see how it looks like in person and I have to say I definitely like the older edition better than this white design because it definitely is a smudge magnet as you can see here it gets dirty really easy for something that's a collector's item I would like to keep it pretty pristine. So with the exception of those 8 additional pages, a new cover design, there really is not much of a difference between the 2018 version and this 2011 version. I mean even the quote on the back is exactly the same. So let's go ahead and start talking about this particular version with starting with the exterior. Now if you haven't noticed already, this is definitely a massively oversized book. It's basically a college sized textbook. I mean this thing is enormous. It weighs about 7 pounds, so it's definitely not something you would lug around with you all day. But I do like the overall design. It's like an old book theme, like something you would pull out of the Hogwarts library. On the front, there's some really nice embossing, and there's an inset picture of Hogwarts Castle right here in the middle. The spine has a worn-out look, and it also has that continued gold embossing. It looks very high quality, and in fact, if you lay out the book flat, here's a way to check how good the quality of the book is. You can have it fully open without worrying that the pages are going to rip out as you can see here. So it's really nice for reading purposes. And then here on the back, I've shown you earlier, it has that nice quote there and then continue on with that uh, gold stitching on the back. Now let's go ahead and talk about the interior. So opening it up, the end pages are the clock tower and then the Hogwarts castle silhouettes at night. All 532 pages are printed on high quality thick glossy paper. Pictures are edge to edge so it's really, you can tell how much detail and work was put into this book. Just before the table of contents is this page which you can even fold out more to reveal more Harry Potter characters and you'll see quite a few more of these extendable pages throughout this book. So here's the table of contents. It's really clearly laid out. It's broken up into three main parts. So the first part is talking about the production of each Harry Potter film. And the second part is dedicated to sections on arts. These actually cover four particular subjects that are actually broken up into other separate collectible hardcovers which cost about $20 to $40 on their own on Amazon. So if you're not looking to spend too much money on collectible Harry Potter items, which definitely can rack up the pill, so this book is really a nice one-stop shop to get the most Harry Potter for your buck. And then finally, the third part is the epilogue, which is only a couple pages of basically acknowledgements. And then I really like this extra touch with the emblem as a watermark. And you'll again see more pages with similar watermarking features, but just with different Harry Potter items. Alright, so let's go ahead and dive right into the inside of this book, starting with part one. So this is... Uh, starting off with the introduction of how J.K. Rowling's first book was chosen to become a film, the casting process, picking the first director, etc. And what I really like about this is their layout with text, but along with all these snippets of like clips from the scripts, photos, sketches. And on page 29, there's actually this sketch of Hogwarts um, sketched out by J.K. Rowling herself. But funny enough, this is actually missing on the latest 2018 edition for whatever reason. So <laughs> there's another reason why you should get this version as opposed to the 2018 version um, and you can see that as you continue on each of the movie is shown in sequential order you have behind the scenes pictures sketches storyboard concept art what I really particularly like are the photos that are shown in the goblet of fire as you can see here and then I also really like the armchair professor snippet in the Harry Potter's half-blood prince movie as well and yeah, you can just see how amazing the artwork is in part one. It definitely takes up the majority of this book. 
Now afterwards, we move on to part two. So that again, this is where you can see the fruits of the set makers and the costume designers. This part has a much higher picture to text ratio and that's definitely rightly so. So each of the four sections have a mini table of contents that you can easily find out what you're looking for. And this is particularly important because there is no index in this book. Uh, so first off is characters, and you can see there are photos of the characters when they're younger, when they're older, um, in terms of concept art as well as regular photos, um, including the first Dumbledore, of course, since they had to um, cast a new Dumbledore after the first one unfortunately uh, passed away. We also have the extendable page here in the Death Eater's Mask section, which is very nice. Afterwards is the location section, and I do like here the blueprint of Hogwarts. It's definitely very insightful, and I really like the detail that's put into it. And then we also have the creature section. Now here, interesting enough, they put uh, elves like Dobby are actually not in this section. They're actually put in the character section just because they have, I guess, a more uh, important role as opposed to just being a regular old creature in Harry Potter films. And here we have actually the extended page is the Hungarian Horntail Dragon. Uh, continue on, fast forwarding more pages because I don't want this video to be too long, is the artifacts. So you can see quite a few different uh, snippets and pieces from the Harry Potter films. And what I really like here is this extendable page with quite a few brooms all laid out right there. And now we get to part three, and it's pretty much the end of the book. It's the epilogue. We also have the golden boards, and they have a picture of the three main actors' um, directors' chairs. They have a little picture of when they had finally finished filming, uh, acknowledgments of the author and other people involved in making this masterpiece of a book. So all in all, I've really enjoyed um, reading through this book. It's really insightful. Love looking at the pictures and all the insight in making the Harry Potter films, which is definitely a, a heck of a project, right? And so I really recommend if you are a Harry Potter fan, or if you're just interested in art, or if you're a film student, I think this is really great to look at. And it's really up to you if you want to get even more out of it. There are, again, as I mentioned earlier, uh, four separate sections on the art pieces, so like creatures, characters, um, artifacts, and locations. So, but if you really want to save money, I would say just pick this book. And I would consider trying to find it uh, used in a good condition like I did, so you can save yourself some money. And if you really, really want the latest and greatest, you could consider getting the 2018 edition. I'll put both of the product links of where I got this book, as well as the 2018 edition in the description as I usually do so you can choose which one you would want. Anyways, I hope you found this video insightful and consider watching my other videos. I have quite a few other collectible items to share uh, on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.